Hi, this is the video for the member forum. You get to the member forum by clicking here on the navigation bar. That takes you to the directory for the members forum, which looks like this. There's a lot of information given on this, and incidentally, it's rather like the table of contents in an email client, email program. There's a subject who started the thread of the subject, who made the first post on that topic. Number of replies, number of viewings of it, and the last post, most recent post, and the author thereof. Now let's go to one, say this one, Ebola posted by Nell Krager. This is her post and it has some replies below it. Three replies. And if you want to add your reply, there's several places where you'll see an add reply button. That brings up at the bottom of your screen and you may have to search for it at the bottom. These text fields text boxes come in at the bottom and sometimes are off screen. This is where you type in your reply and the usual formatting uh, things are available such as italics and underline. I don't have bold because I consider that to be a little bit uh, too much like shouting in a rep in a uh, email or website. Now there is one thing I want to warn you about bad programming on the part of the people who designed the plugin that creates this forum. If you do a block quote, particularly if you want to select something from one of the uh, preceding posts to reply to, which I'll now copy, you would think you could just paste it in, define it, and hit block quote. And in a sense, you can. You see, now it appears in a block quote. But if you do it this way, you can't get your cursor out of the block quote. I'm trying now. I'm clicking down here. I can't get the cursor down there. If I hit Enter, I'm still in it. Let me see if I hit close block quote. Okay. That's the way you get out of it. The way I've been getting out of it heretofore is that I've put in blank lines below it so that I can um, <coughs> move to them. But it also works to um, close the block quote. And you see the block quote is grayed in indicating it's on. And also this weird thing down here indicates that the paragraph is a block quote. So if I, well that took it away, let's try it again. Oh, I had it all selected I think. No? So the programming definitely isn't so good here. What you have to do is at the end of your block quote put an enter in. Now when you hit that you're fine. Okay, and we have smileys here, which I have mentioned in another um, video, are helpful in email and on websites because you can't hear the tone of voice that's intended. Smileys help with that, and they add a little color to them. I'm going to try and add more uh, smileys in the future. Now there's something uh, that you have to do next. You have to submit your reply or if you decide not to reply to cancel. There's a twist here if you hit cancel. You get this cancel and OK. But OK means yes, OK, go ahead and cancel. Cancel means cancel the cancellation. I wrote this text here to try and explain it. So if you cancel the cancellation, you're back where you were.
So I want to be back there. Let's submit a reply. And now that will show up in the directory as the last post on this topic. If we go back to, oh, by the way, there's an up arrow if what happens is you're taken to the wrong place. So let's go back to the member form directory and under Ebola there is now moved up because it's the most recent this one's pinned here but this is the most recent post and I'm logged in as with the username regular subscriber for test purposes and this is the most recent now um, posting uh, on the whole member forum and certainly in this the latest posting in this group of things there's one other very interesting feature that was um, suggested by one HBLer and we added see this subscribe button <clears throat> if you hit this whenever a new post is put up on this thread you will get an email saying that that has happened so if you want to follow a thread it's some very interesting topic you can subscribe to it one other uh, interesting feature see this post by Robert Begley or actually by me logging in as Robert Begley has no edit button, but the post that I did, logged in as regular subscriber, does have a delete and edit. You can edit your own posts on the member forum, and I'm going to do that now to remove the typo that was right here. I didn't want it. There we go. And again, once any change you make you have to save or submit you have to hit some green button at the bottom to take care of it and the typo is fixed the distinctive feature of the member forum and therefore of the HB letter in general is that this forum is not moderated by me it couldn't be instant messaging like this instant posting if I moderated it so I'm relying on you people to moderate it if you find something that is inappropriate that should not be on HP letter hit the report abuse of a button and you will get a form for letting me know that this post you think is at least questionable and maybe just wrong I don't, I don't mean wrong in content but inappropriate is up there this is the post as it is and this is any comment that you would make you know like bad language or sanctions evil or inappropriately personal attack whatever you think it might be let us know and I will review it and if take appropriate action okay I'm going to send post report no let's see if I can return to firm without doing that Yes, and the next thing I want to show you is start a new topic, which is both here, if you're down reading at the bottom, and up here at the top. The start a new topic feature works pretty much just like the reply. At the bottom of your screen, you will get a um, text input box. But this time, of course, you have to put in a title. So 
then we go here and put in the liar paradox as the truth teller paradox. Add a smiley and submit topic. Now when we go back to the member directory that should be at the top. Let's see if it is. New topic saved. We go to the top where we can see the link to the member form directory and there it is. I'll probably take this out before the real launch of the site so you may not see it. Then we have a search field which I will demonstrate. Very helpful because there will be a lot of pages of um, material from people on this member form. There's also a search for the blog but we're in the member form video here. As you see there's a lot of hits for that. So I think that about covers the, oh there's one more thing. These, let's go back to the directory to really illustrate this properly. Those little ghostly gray buttons before the down button. This is most recent topics, you can see the tooltip with unread posts, unread by you, like in your email, unread. Mark all topics as read if you want to do that. That's the member forum. It should add a really big new dimension to HBL. I hope it stays on topic, that is intellectual, not personal chat. And I'll take steps to see that it does. And I hope it stays benevolent so that we have an objectivist community here in the member forum. And I will also take steps to see that that happens. Thank you.